Hello and welcome to this special little bonus video where with me I have my good friend Billy Palmer. Today we're going to go through this game that we both worked on, Unspottable, uh, and we're going to talk about the audio. In particular, I'm going to talk about the sound design of it as I worked on the sound effects, and Billy here is going to talk about the music. So before we jump into that, Billy, do you want to give us a quick little introduction, tell us about yourself, and let us know what uh, you're up to basically and how you got into music and stuff. Yeah, sure. Okay, um, so I'm Billy. Um, I'm a composer for games. Um, for me, Unspotable is the second full commercial game I've worked on. The other project I've been involved on a lot is Project Grove, which is um, coming to the PC hopefully within the next year and a bit. Um, so yeah, I got into composing initially more as a kind of pianist and trombone player. And um, about that time, basically got into audio production within Logic and slowly realized that I loved doing it for games. Um, um, I'm currently doing a Masters in Composition at the Royal College of Music, where I'm doing a bit of film composing on the side too, and a bit of animation scoring, but I think my bread and butter is game scoring. Cool, thank you very much. So, um, like I said, the plan for this is to basically go through the game, uh, we're going to jump in a few levels, highlight some of our favourite things and parts of the audio in the game itself we think are probably most interesting to share, maybe even touch on some of the well, whilst we didn't do much implementation, we did kind of have a bit of a say in how some of the FMO defense were designed, so that might be quite useful to talk about. And yeah, that's it really. Anything to add, Billy? No, nope, I'm looking forward to getting started on this. Let's go. Sweet. Then let's start with this sort of starting level that we can see in front of us. So uh, the way the game works, in case you're unaware, um, I'll give you the quick synopsis, is... Uh, you basically, it's a game of hide and seek essentially, you have to sort of blend in with uh, a bunch of NPCs that you, your character will look identical to. Uh, then once you've done that you need to find your friends that you're playing with, it's a co-op game, or a party game I suppose you could call it. Then once you've found them, you give them one of these. Bosh, a quick punch to the head. Um, and what you're looking at now is like the kind of menu slash little sandboxy test area where you can kind of get to grips with your player, uh, run around, practice punching your friends as well as these sort of dummy robots you can see everywhere. Um, and yeah, this is basically, well, I think this is the first thing we worked on, was it? I can't really remember the order we did. Do you remember what the first piece of um, music was? Was it this? For me, yeah, this was the first one. Um, I think it kind of, I treated this one like a main theme that we could then, um, that could then kind of pull apart for the other pieces within the soundtrack. Um, I think this was one of the first, from the sound design point of view, if I'm correct, just in that used uh, the stock punch sound and the sound for the robots being hit. Is that right? Yeah, I think there was a lot of like key sounds that they wanted made first, which makes sense because they were going to get used throughout the game. Um, and yeah, some of those are the punch sound effects, for example, which is that. Um, there's some other stuff in this level. I think, for example, the little sound I've made the that basically when you stand on this pad to say you know you're ready to play the game and that one when you walk off it um yeah i think that was it really i can't forget any more key sounds that are in this level we'll hear some more in a bit in terms of the music i don't i remember they sent you like a little video for a reference they had like it was like this old kind of american it was like a sitcom do you remember the theme tune they liked do you remember what that was yeah, um, I won't mention the specific thing it was, but um, it, um, but yeah, the reference was essentially a sitcom theme tune. So I think the thing kind of both myself and the team were going for was to make it sound like, ah, this is the established main theme to X that you've heard before. Almost kind of like a feel good vibe. Um, yeah. So, um, I mean, musically, um, I'd say this game, it's probably not a melody, but I think the main kind of musical idea that you hear throughout the score is very simply dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. So the idea with that was that it could sound a bit like a little robot marching along, but was simple enough that it could fit into many different contexts for all the different levels. That's right, and yes. This kind of title theme is like, yeah, and this title theme is kind of like a showcase of that idea. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, because obviously, as we're about to see, there's a lot of uh, levels in this that have different themes. Um, there's like a sushi level, there's a sort of generic meadow, there's a gym, spaceship. Um, so I remember them yeah. telling Billy, I mean, you know, Billy, you tell us really, that uh, they wanted you to, yeah, do what you said, take a theme and kind of change the instrumentation, I suppose, and make it fit these kind of different levels. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's completely right. So um, I think because there's such a variety of levels, um, 
both mine and the developers' thinking was to have a very simple and established main theme that could remain consistent between the stages, whereas maybe the theming of how it's presented um, for each stage would vary. And I, I also think that kind of fits with the whole idea of being like um, a player hiding amongst a bunch of robots, so that it's kind of a core idea but disguised within each level. Yeah, you're right. It does kind of yeah, make de- sense with the gameplay as well. Ah, oh, so it works on both kind of levels. That's yeah. really cool. Um, is there any other kind of inspir- in yeah, inspiration uh, that you thought of personally when coming up with this little um, fun, playful theme that we're listening to now, or this music, I suppose? Yeah, um, one of them was just um, a piano improv. So we both pitched for this project um, about a week before um, kind of getting in contact with the developer. So we yeah. did. You did some demo sound effects, I did some demo music. And when coming up with the music for that, the main idea I had was just simply the little kind of marching piano idea of dun, 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 of like a little man walking along. And I kind of thought how that could maybe go up or down a tone and sound just kind of like someone plodding along in the background. So right. um, I think that was, that was the main inspiration for this bit, but possibly the other influence also was, I can't remember where this came from, but we were both talking about rough like what sound does the robot what sound would the robots make um be it music or sound design um so although you don't hear it in this version of the music um when you first boost out the title theme you have some robots singing the word unspotable um so i'd say that's the other inspiration um putting that together was just a case of recording uh, myself uh, through a vocoder singing all the syllables and doing a bunch of uh, like layering to get it right. Well, that's funny you should mention that because whilst I don't think you're going to be able to hear this, Billy, I can quickly play the beginning of this music that you're referring to. I'm going to quickly do that through F mod just so mm. people can hear it. Oh, brilliant! Yep, cool. Um, so yeah, this is the event for uh, that music you were listening to. It's a pretty simple one. As you can see, what Billy's done is he's created the the intro as its own sort of audio file. So it's just sort of a load of claps um, on its own. Um, but the way he's made it, he's sort of, you know, produced it all in one um, session in Logic Pro he was using. Um, cut yep. that intro off and rendered it as its own file. Then the rest of it... It loops, but it only loops the second half. The first half is its own version. It's basically the the music in full, but with those robots, with um, which you made with vocoders. Is that right? Is that how you did that? Yeah, vocoders and lots and lots of layering. I think it's about ten different takes of me. Took a while, but it was worth it in the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as you can see, that sort of that doesn't loop. That just plays as the cursor goes along the timeline. But then once you get to the second half without that the vocoder voices, it just loops continuously. So it's a nice easy. Uh, F-Mod event, pretty... And, uh, yeah, it just makes the music a bit, uh, well, less repetitive, I suppose. Simple way to add a bit of dynamics. Exactly was, that, that, yeah. uh, was that your idea or theirs to do that? Um, Design the music I that way? It, I think it was my idea, just because um, the main theme, the length we, we'd agreed was it'd be 40 seconds, so... And it's quite a short time if you're on the title screen, so I figured, as it was a song, we could do just the instrumental afterwards, like, after the first play. Yeah. I believe the snapping and clapping was something they had already, so they uh, they had a temp track they used that had, like, various snaps and claps um, alongside their logo. So that was something that I adapted into this piece. And, of course, the animation has the robots, like, looking like they're having a dance and clapping, so that was one other directive on writing this piece was like it needed to roughly sync and match up with that yeah I see so yeah didn't have to make it sync up exactly because it's kind of there's a crowd do you know what I mean the mind kind of fills the gaps if it just sees these robots yeah, snapping they're not doing it in time anyway yeah it makes sense oh cool exactly that yeah right well I think that's enough for the sort of introduction the menu scene so what I'm gonna do yeah, cool. is jump into the game basically just to double check Billy you can see the screen and everything can't you you can see the game yeah, I can see that all right. You can hear it, cool. Yeah, all running good for me. Right, yeah. let's do this then. Yeah, okay. Let's go. I do like the sound ah. I added. The way I made all those pops, I don't know if I told you this, Billy, um, was with like a wine bottle, so I'd stick my thumb in it. Well, that was one of the ways. I don't know this actually. And I go, boop, like that, and I just recorded that loads of times. 
I feel like there was something else I added to that, but I can't remember. And then there was like confetti and stuff, because you see loads of confetti go everywhere. Um, yeah, that was one of my favourite sounds to do for this. I figured we'd start okay. with... Actually, we'll quickly talk about the level selection. Uh, Sound-wise, yeah, sure. there's not much for me to say in terms of... All there is is uh, some UI sounds, as you can hear. So there's a whoosh, which is pretty simple, I made. I, I think I just had combined some white noise, which I made with like... Uh, massive kind of software synthesizer, I just had some white noise and that. And then I swung like some cloths around, I can't remember what I did now, I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah, just in front of my mic, just to get a, a, a physical sound. And so I, com uh, yeah. so I combined um, some real sounds, some recording samples, as well as some uh, digital stuff I just came up with. Nice easy whoosh, then just chucked a load of reverb on there. Um, yeah, and that's oh, it really. And there's like I'm, a, I'm a little bit of high like... end for the uh, the UI as well. As you flick through, there's a little squeak. That's uh, in others in some of the other UIs. But the, yeah, the whoosh is just so that it feels like the camera's being pulled along the you know the screen, and you're hearing it push through the air. Um, yeah. Anything you want to say about the music for the level selection? Yeah. Oh. Well, I like how the whooshes work alongside the motion blur. That's always been a touch. I thought works well. Thank you. Um, yeah, the level selection music, it's, it's meant to sound a little bit kind of mi catchy as if you're about to start playing the game, but also a little bit abstract in that it's got the white background and it's kind of like menu music of like, you can choose where you go from here. So intentionally, a bit of a kind of bare feeling to it. Not a lot more to it, it's a simple loop. Um, right, quite minimalistic, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, cool, all right. Yeah. Then let's and jump just straight enough, into enough, the level. Enough of a beat that actually that you could leave it here and it not get too annoying. Yeah. 